Hey guys, welcome back to today's extra video. I just wanted to take a second to apologize for the crappy footage that we've been putting out with our new camera. We bought a Nikon Z30, which is supposed to be the, and the vlogging camera of the century, and it just sucks. It just totally sucks in so many ways, and I apologize so much. I'm still working on it. I feel like I'm gonna get it. It's not a point and shoot. It's a, one of those cameras that you have to set every single function like every single function if I'm not a camera pro after using this camera then it is a miracle but anyways welcome to today's video today we're just getting started we finished school I've been on this cleaning spree of the house I don't know if you guys can tell but over there I cleaned up all of our boot section where we keep our boots and our coats today I have been just getting everything ready the January cleanup but anyway today Sophie wants us to do something super fun you want to know a fun fact about Molly what's a fun fact she about would rather play with toys or be outside than sit on the couch and cuddle well yeah that's the whole Daisy would rather sit on the couch and cuddle that's the whole border collie experience okay so what are we doing today before we get started with the horses we're gonna bark at the dogs we're gonna bark at the dogs she saw a TikTok of it and it was so funny so she wants to try it Okay, let's try Ruby. Ruby's crying. We put her in a crate so that we could do it one by one. Are you excited? Okay, come here, Ruby. Sit down. Ruby, <laughs> Ruby come on. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. saying in dog language. <laughs> it's okay. We love you. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> She's so sweet. She's the sweetest girl. <laughs> I don't know what we're saying. Yeah, she needs a haircut, but it's cold outside, so we're waiting. So you guys know how Daisy, our Dalmatian, is deaf. Um, she has one blue eye and one brown eye, and there are some theories out there that say that if you have one blue eye and one brown eye, then you might only be deaf in one ear. We had her tested at the vet, and he said that clinically she's deaf completely deaf in both ears. But we have actually noticed in the last year or so that she can hear some sounds. It's specific tones, like if we banged pot, she could hear it. If people sneeze, she hears it. She doesn't know where it's coming from. She doesn't know what it is. All she knows is that there was a loud noise. Um, so she does hear certain tones. So this will be interesting. She already has a toy. <laughs> we interrupted her Zoom <laughs> Okay, get her to calm down. Come here. She's like, give me the toys. She has a different toy. <laughs> calm down. Come here. <laughs> what the heck? Your toy fall? Come here. <laughs> she wants to play. She wants to rough house. See, it's like our dogs and our horses all know when we're filming and they all know when they get to do like extra fun stuff. Do you think she hears it? She said, what are we barking at, guys? Help. Okay, do it again. She hears that. <laughs> She's like, what are we barking at? You guys think she hears it? I think she hears it. She can hear us and she's going around to both of us to see if we're okay and she's licking us to make sure that we're okay. I've seen dogs do that before, try and keep like their family safe and it's like the most beautiful thing. What is outside? <laughs> she's like, I know there's a noise somewhere. There you have it. We tested all three of our dogs 
and even her deaf dog reacted when we barked at them. I don't know what it does to them. Comment below if you know what it does to your dogs when you bark to them. Now we also made them, we made them all hyper now. Apparently it's Easter in Walmart. Easter already. What is it that you want, Gabby? She wants Kinder Surprise eggs. Kinder Joy. And Happy Hippos. What are these Happy Hippos? We've had them before, they're so good. They do look good. Um, I want this. And those, and Kinder Joy. Okay. Easter in this aisle, Valentine's Day in this aisle. Oh my gosh, look at that little monkey thing. Is it a monkey or a sloth? Oh, I love him. Oh, he's so soft. Adorable. Daisy. Gabby likes a di dinosaur. Daisy would like a Dalmatian. Sophie likes a Dalmatian. Gabby likes a red spiked dinosaur. You like this weird freaky monkey. All right, let me wait, get wait, my list. Wait, wait, mom, let's look, let's look over here. Look I'm gonna get a list and give you guys, tell you guys each to go get stuff so that we can get out of here fast. I want this. I hate arrow. I like the mint arrow, but I hate regular arrow. Comment below if you like arrow. Wait, what is this? Why does it have a hole in its Oh, so that's the new thing. Sophie and I saw that before Christmas. It's, um, what are the puffalump? No, what are those things called? Squishmallow. Squishmallow, that's and you lay it. Oh, but they, they aw. You lay it. Tail. Why? Put this in your cart. It's a dinosaur with a fox tail. Put this in your cart. You lay it on your belly and then you put your hands in there to keep them warm. It doesn't keep them warm. Well, it's soft. And this, my friends, is what happens to the barn when I'm not down here. It gets so messy. Although, this little area has stayed pretty clean. Yeah, because no one uses it. Nobody uses it. I love it. It's cozy. You guys know what this means? It is farrier day tomorrow and Sam brings it out so we can, so they. I have to sit down here? Yeah. Yeah, we all stay down. When the farrier's here, where'd Gabby go? I have the most horses. Yeah, you got the most horses. I don't even have any treats in my pocket. Do you have a treat for me? Thank you. I need more. I love how she just waits. <laughs> Did you guys see that? She doesn't even try and walk in. I'm behind Gracie. <laughs> Do you guys see it? Behind Gracie, you can't see anything. There's nothing, nothing behind Gracie at all. And then she moves. <laughs> and there's a baby. Look at the water though. Do you guys see it? Yeah, it's all melting now. Everything is melting again and it's gonna melt this week. So I brought our measuring tape down because I'm dying to figure out how tall Honey's gonna be when she's full grown. I was looking it up and looking it up and looking it up and there's all these calculations. So if you measure like their legs and then times it by this or blah, 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 they tell you how big your foal is gonna be. But then my friend showed me that they have a chart. They actually have a chart. So I'm gonna um, see how tall she is. I'm gonna measure her and then you put it into this chart. So it, I'll show you, I'll show you guys. She doesn't have withers. <laughs> she has, she's she got no withers. <laughs> Like, All right. Feel, mom. Feel. feel yeah. Feel, I know. Feel I know. She's got nothing. Feel it. But I did notice that. Where do her withers start? <laughs> at the very end of the last hair. Use a proper measuring tape. Yeah. Use the proper measuring tape. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you had it up too far. Yeah. That's not it. All right. There we go. Make her stand still there for a second, Sophie. Wow, it says she's 30 inches. No, oh, there's no way. Look at you have it. Look at how you have it at the bottom. 31. No. She doesn't have withers. Yet. I think she's 27. 30. She's 27. 29 and a half. 27. Let me do it. <laughs> Let's measure Willow. <laughs> measure Willow. How many? How many? Right. How many inches measure is Gracie? Because I know for sure that Willow's 33. Put it straight. Yeah, just hold on. And then what I did. Wait, 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 wait. Pull it up. Whoops. Okay. No, this is not working. You she's, have to put it straight. She's 33. She's 33 inches. So we're doing something wrong. What the heck are we doing wrong? Inches. She's up. 33 inches for up. sure. She's registered. She's not 42. She's registered. For, yeah, she's registered. 
go get her halter and I'm going to show you what we're working on this we week. Just doing that. No, go get her halter. I'm going to show you what we're working on. And then we're going to take her for a little walk. Okay, so she just kicked. You guys him. know we do a lot of positive reinforcement. That is how Sophie got Willow to do all the things that she does. And this pony, we are she's doing it with her too, but she went too fast. So we're going back to the beginning. So what you need to do is train her to stand. You have treats? So she has to stand. Complete no, push her out of your way. Good girl. Okay, give her a treat. Because she didn't she didn't move into Sophie. <laughs> Willow's like, I'll do that. That's easy. So don't let her turn into you. Push her out. And then say a word. Stand. Push her out. Push her. I don't know what this is supposed to do. Push her out. Push her out. She's a baby. She gets bored. Yeah. She, Sophie said, you know, she's, you know, she's a baby and she gets she bored. bored. She has a low attention span. Okay. Anyway, so that's what Sophie's going to be working on again. Good girl. Yeah. Stay. Or Good stand. Girl. Good girl. Stand. But don't let her turn into you. Hey, well, if I just push her away, she's going to keep turning her head back. She's turning into you. So you yes, I have know. the treat ready. So basically, she's just going to start back at scratch, and she's going to back make to her what is that? Back, back at scratch. square one, starting from scratch, and she has to just stand. No nosing for treats. Good girl. See, so you're you're not doing it fast enough. So let's try again. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Like it's hard. The word yes. Okay, so what word do you want to use? Good job. Good, good girl. girl. Good girl. See, you have to do it a few more times because she learns so fast, and she'll just pick it up. It's just that we've got we've taught her the bad habit of asking for treats. Yay. Good girl. Girl. Yes. I need to Good girl. Oh, look. Hey, look now. Look. Oh, push her away. She was still chewing. Yeah, but push her away. Don't let her turn into you at all. Good girl. Give her a pat. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. You should not let her come into your space to get the treat. You go to her space to get the treat. That's probably how we started the problem. So uh, how we've always learned to tell a horse to stay out of your space is to go like this. Move your body around. Move your arm in front of you and and determine your space and then when a horse is trying to get in your space they don't usually walk past a moving hand so that is this that's the goal for today hopefully cutie. yeah that's the problem she's just so darn cute like honestly like look at her all right let's go take her outside and do her hail walk for for today because she's doing good good girl yeah oh you missed it sophie I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone yeah. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing don't you know that you're